But uh, as I said, it is Monday. We play hard mode FTL. We play with pause and we play with ships created by you awesome people. RPG Nerdos is here. And of course, we got to start with an RPG Nerdos ship because we usually do if there is anyone to play. So this first ship is from RPG Nerdos called the Osiris Gunner. Let's check out the Osiris Gunner, my friends. What does this crazy creation look like? Ooh, interesting. It's kind of a... It reminds me of a episode one ship from Star Wars, like one of the Naboo, Naboo fighters or maybe one of the Trade Federation. Yeah, it kind of looks like the Ch Trade Federation uh, big giant ship. Oh, we got some new special crew. All right, all right. I'm liking this look. Kind of gold. Ooh, I like the uh, kind of transparent windows you got going. Very cool. Let's see what the Osiris Heavy Interceptor ship does. Uh, the Heavy Interceptor, a large for a fighter vessel for only the best captains. That's me. This ship suffers from the lack of maintenance crew, but its boarding staff is nothing to frown upon. The ship itself is unmatched agility-wise and can stay alive in prolonged fights. Okay. Those are guys you added to your mods permanently a few mods ago. Just didn't get the chance to specialize into them. Okay, so what are these guys? Berserkers. And a mechanic. Interesting. Let's see what a berserker can do. I assume they're really good boarding crew. Uh, a hu Berserkers are a human... Oh, these are upgrades you can do to your humans after 30 minutes or whatever it is that I never quite... I feel like I haven't gotten humans on your sh ship mods often enough to get into all these. That's cool. We'll get to check these out. Uh, human equipped with a Gatling gun and Hydra suit to handle the recoil and board in some of the harshest environments. Not even Mantis crew can resist the barrage of lasers they unleash. Deals double damage crew. Sabotage is 50% faster. Punches through doors at four times speed, but moves 30% slower. 75% uh, less damage from fires. Can't man or repair systems. O2 tank. The Berserker, as soon as he begins to suffocate, will switch to emergency O2 tank, become immune to suffocation for 20 seconds. Once exhausted, the tank will need 20 seconds of restored reserves. That's cool. So we can actually board on auto scouts without dying, I assume. How much health do they have? Can't actually see that here, it looks like. I didn't get Berserkers. Mechanic got a little buffed on the other hand, though. Okay, Mechanic. Mechanics feel at home on board the ship using their advanced tools and skills to carry out any maintenance-related tasks, tasks and fill in on any manning station necessary. Learn skills slightly faster. Starts out with all skills elevated to level 1. Repairs 40% faster. Repairs somewhat worse in combat. Uh, repair rush ability. The mechanic will completely ignore enemies for 15 seconds and repair systems or put out fires. Also hacks doors in the room for enemy ships and disables hacked doors on your ship in the hack room. Now that's interesting. So it lets you get in and out of a room if he's in the hack room. That's cool. That's very cool. And this ship starts with level 4 engines, level 3 shields. Uh, value point for the burst laser. Maxed piloting. Wow, you gave this ship some crazy good systems. All right, let's check check out the heavy interceptor or the Osiris with these new crew. We have Gibbs for the rebellion. We have the best Gibbs, the multiverse. The multi multiverse Gibbs. All right. Uh, <laughs> an odd salesman insists on talking to you. Okay. Uh, Odd Salesman says, I've been here and there, but I think it's time to retire. I thought I'd split the fruit of my journeys between people of the Federation before I joined the monks on their pilgrimage to make peace with their past. He, sh he showcases you a number of odd-looking artifacts. Pick one, child. May it serve you better than it served me. Okay. <laughs> it's just like a crazy RPG start. Uh, Abyssal Lantern. Uh, this mysterious artifact casts an eerie glow around itself, coming from a dark purple flame dancing within the lantern. You've got a bad feeling about this, but it appears to possess minor time-warping capabilities, reducing your weapon cooldown by 5%. Okay, so this is a, like, an auto, like a slightly weakened automator reloader, I think. Uh, Oceanics Insignia. These augments will have no effect. Mercy Respirators. This is installed. Odd, intricate insignia that in shape resembles some sort of spiral tentacle... A compass and a submarine plate. It seems to constantly leak water. Your crew seems 10% more efficient with repairs, and oddly enough, your need for auction is reduced by 20%. You recommend the Oceanic Insignia, Abyssal Lamp, please do something you have seen some time ago. 
You need to bring one of those sector eight for something special. All right, well, I'll go with your uh, um, recommendation. This seems better for boarding anyway. Although, who's your weapon cool as is cool. It sounds like you say we've got what this leads to. So let's do something new. The Oceanic Insignia. Crafted in utmost silence, this serves as your guide into the cleansing depths. Hold on to it, learn when to listen, and when to speak. He packs the rest of the artifacts and leaves before you can ask any questions. All right. Okay. Oceanic Insignia. So, O2 tank is filling up. I wonder, I'm hoping it doesn't need to, I'm hoping it recharges at, uh, when you go to new jump. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, all right. So we can board on auto scouts with that augment and these guys O2 tank for sure. All right, what you got? First laser two? Bro, I got one of those though. We have a heal bay, okay. All right, all right. Look at them laser firing humans go. All right, not a bad dodge. Okay, get some repair training. Repair rush. Uh, what's funny is, uh, as strong as these guys seem, like stronger than Mantis, they're not crazy ridiculous like other, you know, modded crew. You and other modders have created. So, a berserker's use O2 tank automatically once it's charged. Do be careful with hazards since you get only one guy per wave. It's okay. Would it be the pilot? It ain't sure thing. You could be the mechanic. Excuse me, man. Mm. In it. Uh, repair rush doubles repair speed. Cool. Good to know. So I need 30 to get my second shield. You have definitely started this ship out with some good starting offense and defense. Oh, man. And then I say it and immediately think, I'm not as strong as this guy, because he's got freaking better weapons and better Zelton shields. So we're 100% taking damage here. We got some crazy good dodges. Okay, that was actually really good dodges. Oh, yeah, they can't man systems. What am I doing? They cannot man systems. Get through. Good. Okay. Can we get them before we take another damage? Beautiful. Okay. You go repair. You guys come back. Go heal. And so we got another human, which can become one of these guys once he, um, once was it? 30 minutes pass or something like that? Maybe we get like a second mechanic or something. Um, let's actually put... Sorry, and I know you wanted to be the pilot. But I, I want to put him... I want to free this guy up. To run around the ship. So I'm going to leave the human on piloting. 28 minutes. Okay, okay, okay. But I can get shield. Which makes me definitely feel safe to go to the uh, asteroid field. Alright. Beautiful. This. Rocket Amantis. Normally I'd be like, man, why you gotta be so OP, anti borders? Get wrecked. Get wrecked by my. What are these guys called? Terminators or something? Uh. Berserkers. Berserker is the name of an. Uh, of a. The AD carry on Cloud9 in League of Legends, NALCS. That's what I think of when I think of Berserker, because uh, League of Legends professional scene is starting back up. Uh, just this last week, the European LAC started back up. Hey! Mechanic crew can counteract free shield hack. <laughs> nice! Get wrecked! Get wrecked. Alright, this guy can't damage me, so... Uh, we will not board with those guys. Beautiful. The anti-shield free pack event. 
Berserks are an extreme of Mantis, all about boarding, can even board Lanius vessels. 20 seconds of O2 is perfect for you to take them back once it runs out. Okay, cool. Oh, does that line up with the um, teleporter recharge time? That would make that would make sense. Very cool idea if that's how that works. It's been cold in Dallas the last couple days. I don't know why it's all of a sudden gotten super chilly. I guess it is winter, so if we actually have cold days, I shouldn't be surprised. Mechanic basically makes shield hacking chains from dividing your shields by two to eliminate them to four bars. Ah, is that what it did? Okay. 35 scrap. I want to sell the FTL jammer. Uh, four, five. So I can go one, two. Yeah, I only need one nebula jump to get extra jumps. That could be eight, seven, six, five, four. Actually, I can't go to the store and do that, can I? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. That would be nine. So that would be a dive. Okay. I actually have to skip the store. And I'm not going to go to the store if I can't. Go there and get out without diving. Okay, Rebel Disruptor. Who's running? Don't hack my teleporter. Okay. Yeah, me is, is still charging. Okay, well, FTL Jammer will help me out here, I think. Uh, I'm gonna do damage to your engines, I think. That should pull the pilot. Very good. Twitch only now notified you about the stream. Well, glad you're here, Dark Savant. You're only like, I only started like, you know, 15 minutes ago. This run, we're on our like third fight or something. Glad to have you. Already have three points in engines. Uh, this ship started with four points in engines and one shield with a value point. So, RPG is one of the best uh, on viewership creating ships on leaning towards starting strong OP. You might even say so okay we got a store anyway one two three four five six seven Does that work four, five six seven should work if i if i understand how this works you can have dodges when mechanic goes to repair the ship starts with only one crew member capable of manning oh the three you're talking about three piloting yeah yeah you said yeah yes yes it is Super OP. Uh, I'm going to try this out. Oh, so it makes the sound of being vented when their O2 ability activates. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. And teleporter comes back up. Right as they start taking damage. Cool. Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. I didn't use your repair ability. I should have. Okay, we'll get you one weapon shot training here. Does he learn skills faster too? Mechanic. Learn skills faster. Wow, okay. Which translates into... Instead of 15 for an upgrade? No, 13. Does that translate? Because it's the same number of... Does it get like two training points every time it learns a skill or something? I'm not exactly sure how that works. Boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. I don't care about any of those weapons. Not too much. I am going to sell that. Uh, you know, this is one of those times when I probably could go scrap recovery arm. The thing is, if I do that, I can't get any other augment. Alright, you know what? Let's get a small bomb. Oh, and we even start with backup battery. Okay, yeah, this is this is super OP of a start. Do I get one more human? No, I have to I have to sell something. Human. <laughs> just to be one, two, three, four. Um Just to be playing as intended where we have all human crew who are gonna turn into berserkers and mechanics or something. I get a normal amount of training, 
So the level one train they start with probably helps. Okay, so so your description of they train faster is just because they start out at higher level, I guess. I'm gonna assume that's what that translates into. Ha ha ha! Go dog, heard you like small bombs, so why don't you have a small bomb, small bomb, stick a small bomb on your small bomb. Okay, sure. What's up, Larson? Thank you for the 50 bits. Happy bit morning to you. I wonder why some of them fly off to the side. Because <laughs> you can never control salt. It just gets everywhere. It's like sand. Irritating. Gets everywhere. I hate salt. I am the Anakin Skywalker of salt. I do still get faster training bonus like humans since they are humans. Oh, okay. So it's the human... It's the human lower training level. I thought it would be even faster than humans. Gotcha. Alright, this is... Okay, they cannot damage us. They have no heal bay. I'll take one shot at, oh, I don't know, an empty room just for training that I can't get. Well, that was easy. <laughs> uh, let's get... I feel like an NG would feel on board with these humans. Feel on board. Would feel... Um, comfortable. feel like they fit in. Besides, they give the best blue options. That's the real reason I chose NG. The best blue options. There's a quote. I am the Anakin Skywalker of salt. You just don't know how quotes work. Uh, you can tell somebody who knows how to do quotes later. They can add that quote. <laughs> I, I approve of that one. I am the Anakin Skywalker of, of salt. You just finished Breaking Bad and you're sad now? That makes me not want to watch it because I don't want to be sad, but... Although I think I actually know what happens in the final episode, or at least one of the main things that happens because they do a... They do a, a Mythbusters episode about his R gun thing. I think that's the last episode. Oh, uh, okay. You are to sad. I die. Yeah, yeah. I, I kind of, I kind of figured. Although, spoiler. Kind of a spoiler there, Inan. But I kind of knew he was like dying of cancer anyway. I, I think. So go out. Be a blaze of glory. Troop was eventually meant to start with no value point and went with the shield with no long range scanners. He had quite a rough start and realized it might need those. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of what the weakness is. Only a burst laser 2 is actually kind of weak weapon. A little weak offensively. It's the same as Federation A, but without the artillery. But has teleporter instead of artillery, which I would say is just way stronger. So, probably doesn't need it, but hey, I'll never turn down extra power. Died on baldness. That's not how it goes. Travel between the sectors. A chance of putting some distance between you and the fleet. Oh, you added this little thing. The thing that, uh... Doesn't, uh... Doesn't Captain's Edition do something like this? So we use no fuel. Rebels gain up. Regular is just standard. We can... Give ourselves extra jumps if we do these. Police catch. What is a police catch? Sultan police vessels are, use this type of jump. Federation decided to adapt. <laughs> all right. Uh, all the times we've been caught by the Sultan police has finally paid off. It's finally paid off. That's funny. Econ economic can give you fuel. Interesting. Okay. Uh, he's got a heal bay, and he's gonna board us. I'm gonna deal with his borders first. That's funny. The police catch. I like that. Yeah, there's that. Teleport into... I could lock down a... Here, oh, there we go. 
I need to be very careful. I never accidentally shoot down the ship my enemies, my, my crew is on, because I don't have clone bay. So, I need to not shoot my own crew. One mechanic can't really handle too much damage to repair. Uh, standard jump works like vanilla. Yeah, yeah. That's what I figured. So basically, you're just giving the player more options, which... Highly incentivizes you to buy extra fuel and take fuel deals, I guess. There are more options for higher engine levels, even. Upgrades for level 6, 7, and 8 engines are cheaper. Ah, they are. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. Tried to make it so that getting 5 plus level engines is actually something to consider. Very cool, very cool. I like that idea. There's two stores. Nothing I want to sell unless I want to sell a second small bomb, but honestly, double small bomb could be quite strong. But I do want to get hacking and pump. Beam them aboard my ship. 12 scrap. Wow. Wow. How generous. How generous. I sent you home and you gave me a piece of bubblegum wrapper and I don't know, a toothpick. Uh, okay, let's see here. I think I'm gonna get charged later. Sell a small bomb. Well, I have three stores. What if none of those stores have weapons? I'll buy. I'll buy the charge laser and that's it. And then we'll check out the other. I do want to have enough for hacking. I actually don't. I'd have to sell something like that. So. I'll have room for two systems, right? So, poking and hacking. As much as I'd like to get my control against the boss, if you don't have hacking, if you don't have cloaking, gotta do the OP ness, you know? It's gotta max out your OP ness. Very, very nice. It's something to sell at the store. I like that. Kill them. Uh, no. I want my fuel. Engines cost and the jumping between sectors is going to also stay in your mods. Okay, okay. Cool, you are, uh... You are expanding your mod to be a more cohesive universe. It's a... It's a MCU of... RPG mods. <laughs> Should call it the RPU. The RPG Nerdos extended universe. Or something. Um, do you want me to get this weapon upgrade? I don't think I'm okay on my weapons right now. As much as I'd like to get one more weapon power. I, if I miss out on hacking, I would not be happy. Okay, I'm going to personnel drone. I'm trying to make it so that I don't have to fight this guy, but no such luck. Back here, no more missiles at least. What is that? The uh the Knight Rider? I think I was just seeing a Knight Rider. Dum -ba -da -dum, bum -ba -da -dum. That sad track just reminded me of Knight Rider for a second there. Do -do 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 -do. What is MCU? That's the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's all the Marvel movies. It's what they call anything in the Marvel since since Iron Man, the Avengers. All right. Uh, one, two, three. I guess. Yeah. Uh, I will reject your offer and substitute my own. How about I kill you and take all of your stuff? You can't damage us. <laughs> and you can't deal with our borders with double NGs. What makes Ber Berserk is really dangerous that in time and enemy crew members get to help his friends out. Berserk will have done quite a lot of damage. Especially if it's a rock and going to help. I don't know if I understand what you mean by that. Let me read that again. What makes Berserkers really dangerous 
is that in time, enemy crew members gets to help his friends out. I don't know what that means. Do you mean because they do damage quickly in the time it takes for their crew to move from one side of the ship to the other? They've done a lot of damage. I mean, that's that's but that's kind of normal with mantis, right? I think I think that's what you mean that, that they attack quickly. Uh, human gets me a mantis. Cool. Things are shields manned. You board to attack single mantis, and the time rack when it comes to the other side of the ship, they can same beating. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's. I would say that's not unique to your crew. That's unique to any time you 2v1 an enemy. Uh, let's see here. Uh, disruptor. We have multiple. Wow, this is the worst disruptor I've ever seen. Okay. Uh, it's a. What is it called? A um. It's a beam master disruptor. Um. Great ship. Get extra stuff. Well, sure. Yeah, I mean, with with your guys doing double damage, it's a bigger bonus to 2v1 so but again I wouldn't say that's unique to this it's that's anytime you can 2v1 it's a it's a bonus and the stronger your crew the more that you know uh, advantage will be present um, okay so let's get Let's look for Zoltan Shield Quest, I guess. Um, this is like the best we could possibly hope for, the fact that we can, yeah, hear them out. All right, <laughs> instantly. I'm glad, I was thinking of going down because I'd see more jumps, but I was like, well, if we have all these extra jumps, I could probably give us a higher chance. To that all right, we have a chance for Envoy, everybody. Oh man, can't wait for Envoy. Oh man, cannot wait. Sure hope I get Envoy. Now oh, we're taking this shot. I should have done that differently, I think. Only one damage because we dodged three out of five shots. Wow, that's we had 60% dodge or something. Good job. Good job. Max trained in an engine guy. He must be giving uh, Vivamord here tips on how to doge. Those are some crazy good dogings. Uh, if I go through both nebula jumps, I will get all of them. So that would be 11. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, okay. So let's go... Go this way. We'll see if there's anything. Actually, I don't. I already know there's nothing I want there. So one, two, three, four into the nebula, then around. Be a very lucrative sector. Did I have time to check out Legend of Eidolon? Did I, Beta Hunter? Did I? You have converted somebody to a new. Um. I, I have a new addiction. Since you told me about it, I have been playing it. Yes. Oh, crap. Okay, that's fine. Um, it is quite the addictive game. It is. I'm still trying to figure out how to really level up my guys because I'm around level 30 and feeling like it's hard to get any higher. But, uh, yes. Yes, I have been playing it. How long did it start? Uh, the day after you told me, I think. Which was what? Friday of last week or Saturday? Something like that. So I have I have four characters now. Um, uh, my highest level guy is I think 29. I have two guys in their 20s, two guys at their 19s. Trying to figure out how to 
advance to the next area while I idle and get materials and stuff. Am I leaving my PC on at night too? No, but I mean, you, you idle, you just, you idle with, when you're out of game. I'm not going to do that. Hail them. Purchase waves are deals without war. True progress only to see two top bloodshed. I don't see what the purpose of leaving the computer on would do, because the things that you mine and stuff disappear after a certain amount of time. There we go. Beautiful. No Zoltan, uh, no Envoy. I'm catching up to you. Uh, well, I mean, I, 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 I played it too much over the weekend, honestly. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah. Secret can only be completed in tutorial. It adds nothing permanent, though. Okay. Well, I've been, I've done all the tutorial stuff, so hopefully I will find that or have found it or something. So sad, no envoy. He gives me a map. Is that useful? I can't go down to four fuel. Again, I always... I don't think I've turned down any fuel deals, and I'm still almost out of fuel. I guess it's probably because I... Um... Paid two extra fuel for both of my between-sector jumps so far. The doges. Wow, this guy's got high level engines, man. Come on. There we go. You can buy you can buy an auto pickup for four dollars. A permanent auto pickup for four dollars. Okay, well, I'm not gonna spend money in the game yet. But maybe if I keep enjoying it and playing it, I will do something like that. Right, I'm gonna finally do a weapon upgrade. I I I can absolutely afford hacking when we find it. Four or five. Okay. Yes. All right. Come on, store. I need to if nothing else. Buy all your all of your fuel. Hacking and cloaking. Okay. Okay. Well, I can't afford both. I have Zoltan Shield, which, by the way, is orange. It's weird. Was my shield orange before, and it's tinted that color, even with Zoltan Shield? It's always weird when you get Zoltan Shield with a special, uh, different... In vanilla shield color. Uh, we'll get the hacking first. I think, I think our Zoltan shield will protect us. Fine. Let me get hack of power. Do that. Okay. You know that you can find anti-bio even stores. I have heard. I have heard. Be hero. I'm a hero, not a zero. If you ever need someone to do dungeons with, feel free to add you. Okay, uh, send me a message with your... I don't know how to add friends. Send me a Twitch message. Twitch PM, whatever, uh, on how to do that. I've done a couple of dungeons, and maybe you can train me on how to do dungeons better, because dungeons are weird to me. But, oh, damn it. I was really hoping he wouldn't do that. That, that actually is terrifying. Um... And he's running. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna board with two other guys. Stop. Okay, it's delayed. Good. Now, and I can always hack him if I need to. Very nice. No running away for you. And no, but no double reward. Oh, and that was a fire. I just put them in. Okay. Watch out for the mind control. Get pretty ugly with berserkers. Yeah, yeah. That's. I maybe need to get mind control instead of cloaking because of how scary that is. Go to your settings. Turn on double click to see player profile. Then double click on someone you want to invite. 
Oh, is that why I couldn't invite anybody? Because I have to go into settings? It didn't tell me in the quest text for that. I feel like the tutorial's kind of bad on that game. I mean, it's unsurprising because it's a free-to-play, early-access, idle MMO. But I could not invite people, and I couldn't figure out why. So it sounds like there was a setting I have to change, which is a really weird decision that they'd make you have to turn on a setting to invite people. I don't get that. Training. Nice. You just found that out too? Yeah. I went I went to a, a wiki for this Eidolon game, and I learned some cool things. If you go into the I think it's data anvil, you can pull the um stuff you've created in the anvil from anywhere. You can pull it from the anvil to your store, so you don't have to walk all the way back to town or teleport back to town to empty your anvil out. Super useful. I don't know if you know about that one. Saves you having to walk back and forth or wasting all your town portal stuff. Uh, attempt to stop borders with your Zoltan shield. They seem to have Zoltan shield bypass, damn it! However, as soon as they begin cross the shield, the program changes the frequency of Zoltan shield. Boarding party gets cut in half by the force field. <laughs> okay, it did work. Okay. <laughs> they seem to have Zoltan shield bypass, but it doesn't work. Beautiful. What's up, Anglebane? You've had to run back every time? I was until I found that out. I think it's in data. There's data where it's like the... Uh, and I forget all the things. There's the anvil and there's two other things in there. You can see your storage from town with that and you can... Check the like daily achievement quest from the brass guy or something. Why wouldn't they tell you that? I don't know. Like I said, the tutorial's terrible in that game. <laughs> but there's tips and tricks for it on the wiki that I read about that. No no more of constant Zoltan Shield bypass. Well, only if you have Zoltan Shield, it feels. But that's that's cool that you gave counters to these really annoying events. It's pretty cool. It's a 60% chance to block borders. Ah, okay, so it's not guaranteed. It's just a chance. Okay. Look for the ship. That's fine because we're at the we are at the exit beacon. Go here. You sir are a rebel invader. I invaded the invader. Get invaded, sir. Oh, okay. Golden shield protected me. I should have had my backup battery and stuff there. So that's quite. The daily challenges, um, well, I don't know if it's the daily challenges, but if you talk to the grass guy in the, in the home base, the top right guy who's by that board, when you click on that board, it has all these achievements. The bottom right achievement is like a daily one that changes every day, I think. So you can look at those from the data, the same place that you can empty your anvil, you can look at those. And, um... Uh, you can't turn them in there, but you can at least look at what the objective is. So if like all you have to do is go see the Baba Yaga quest You could see it on there. Be like, okay, I don't have to run back to town to, to see what's there uh, Pirate or Zoltan? Let's go pirate, I guess But I think I, I misspoke when I said Daily challenges. All right, I'm gonna just do hunters leap Mancers are known to jump the speed between sectors to catch their prey. Okay. I just want to conserve some fuel here. Wait, is Hunter's Leap the same as vanilla? Because vanilla uses a fuel. One, two, three, four, five. Or did that use an extra fuel? I think it must... No, I think it only used one fuel. Oh my gosh, this guy's really strong. Okay. Uh, okay, I need to... Yeah, I have Zoltan's shield, at least. Might need to hack his something. Hack his something once I get the Zoltan's shield. Okay. That's good dodge. That. 
I'm, I'm gonna hack this field day actually to help deal with borders quick, quicker. El Nub Nub, beautiful. All right. Hunter's Leap uses one more fuel on top of fuel usage. Standard jump is the one that is vanilla. Okay. Why did it feel like it wasn't doing as, I don't know, off though? Maybe it uses the fuel at a different time. Maybe it said minus one twice or something. I don't know. All right, you are a silly device. However, until I get another crew, we will have silly device on sensors. This is a silly device who's in training. One day he will be on doors, but for now, we need him to be on sensors so we can see what we're boarding into. All right, so I'm trying to save my scrap to get cloaking. Although, do I want my control? Of course, I always want my control, but... Oh, we only need one nebula jump. Get an extra jump. What's up? They call me Hayes. Oh, it was the weekend. It was good. I started my packing. Oh, we have... Wow, we have choices here. We have choices. When you jump to the next sector, you lose one fuel, and then the fleet delay event happens. This is how it is. Okay. What's my main? Uh, my main guy is an archer, but my fourth guy I made is another fighting dude, and he's a warrior. And I've got to say, warrior seems really a lot. Warrior seems a lot better at clearing quests that you the the fighting quests. So I might have to swap to a warrior being my main like fighter guy. Um. Geez, I want I want a lot of stuff here. So if I don't get cloaking, I need to get fourth shield for the boss fight. I feel like we're going to be really a hide and scrap. You know what? I am going to get mind control. This also allows me to buy a heavy laser here. It's 50 scrap for it. Um, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, they can hit multiple basic attacks. It's broken. <laughs> that's okay, Bait Hunter. I'm having fun with it. It's kind of a, a game where I'm like, I don't know how long I'll spend in it because it's, you know, so basic, but it's a fun, I it's a fun way to just kill some time and feed my MMO addiction without having to play WoW eight, eight hours a day or something. Although I will say, I had been playing WoW and now I have not been playing WoW as much because... Uh, I started playing that, but also I'm like packing and doing other stuff, so I haven't been able to spend much time in, in WoW the last week or so. My control counter if he does. Buddy, okay, you're dead. Field of Scout in an asteroid field is the best. At me killing them. Okay, uh, do I want to go to a solar flare? I'm not sure. Cool thing is you don't have to spend a lot of time to keep up and progress. Yeah, that's it's, that's what's cool to me is an MMO where... An MMO idol game. It's just a cool idea. This guy who created this is probably going to make bank. I'm going to guess he already has made some pretty good bank just creating it. For those who are wondering what we're talking about, there's a game called Legends of Eidolon. I think that's what it's called. Like, like idol. Like idol game. And it's on Steam for free. And I'm already kind of addicted to it. Um, I have a Zoltan Shield. I don't think I'll need it. I mean, Zoltan Shield. I, I, I don't think I'll need to hack anything, say. You go be there, you will be there. That's a good heal. And we get out for solar flare, I think. If we get out. Good fight. Uh the developer streams development on Twitch sometimes. His name is Lava. Cool. Um, okay, now we got some fuel. Now I can get all the extra gems. That was some good trade deals for fuel. Trade deals for fuel we just got. Um, uh, that's a pre-igniter. Can't afford it, though. I don't think I need to buy fuel now. 
Uh, Non-destroyed boarding drones will be retrieved at the end of combat. Asteroid and asteroid. Okay, let's live in the asteroid field. Living in an asteroid field. That game reminds me a little bit of um, Never Grind Online, which was a game me and Shogi played for a little bit. Where it was a cool indie idea. That is fun for a little while. I hope it keeps being fun. I feel like it'll be fun longer than Nevergrind was. Because even though the, the combat in this game is not good, I mean, what, what idle games have good combat? Um, what this does better is the crafting and gathering are actually the main focus, not the combat, so... Uh, who took damage? You took damage. Could have used their special repair abilities. Oh well. Yeah, Ben Hunter, if you want to put the link to the game in Steam, you're welcome to. Or link to Steam in chat. Are you a Prime sub or just a Prime gaming? Okay. Uh, I'll have to permit you actually. Let me know if you want to put the link in, and I'll give you a permit. Yeah. Here, let me. Permit Beta Hunter. Just called Eidolon on Steam, yeah. There, try it, try it again. Hopefully that will fix it. Hopefully I spelled your name right. Um good. Now he can't damage us. Although asteroid fields did always screw us. Push permitting remove the timeout. <laughs> Problem is, as usual, I have too many things I want to play. Like <laughs> me and Sugar, me and Shogi are playing Elden Ring on his stream, so I sometimes want to get on there for a little bit to do some stuff, but I don't have time. Uh, my brother started playing WoW when I did over at his house. So he's like, are you going to keep playing? I'm like, yeah, yeah, when I find time. And now I'm just playing Eidolon randomly. And uh, have grounded, that would be, wouldn't hurt if I could get more time in-game, off-stream to do some stuff. There's too much stuff to do. All right, I'm going to do this and engine so that I can do an extra... Um, jump the next time we do that. Well, do I actually want to do an asteroid field? Link privileges you feel so powerful. Don't let it go to your head, sir. Nice, okay. Subscribe in Unana. I just think I think doors four times. Because you can get there before you reverse that. Oh yeah, no problem. Beautiful. Practice a dolphin flip there. Hope our doges are good enough. Damn. Good damage. <laughs> Excuse me. Goodness gracious. Unlimited power. Now, now you really do have unlimited power using your prime sub. <laughs> that's that's what you should have done. Not get time now. Just, just, just give me your prime sub. Gosh, so easy. Just, just give me. No, just kidding. Thank you though. I appreciate the prime sub. Very, very generous of you. Press beacon. Thank you, RPG. And in. Uh, rock blue option. <laughs> Free igniter. Oh, I turned one of those. He's down or there. Uh, 
I don't want to get rid of Oceanic Insignia. It is the weakest right now, but I, apparently it's going to turn into something good in the final sector. I don't want to get rid of any of the others, so I guess I have to get rid of Lone Range Scanners, man. You unbless me. What am I going to do? Uh, be unblessed and my soul will die. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Man, I hate to leave behind long range scanners, but that's a pre igniter. Uh, one thing that is bad is charged laser is actually kind of bad with pre igniter. So I'm gonna have small bomb up with pre igniter, I guess. One thing I will say, with all this boarding, I'm not getting much weapon training, so uh, maybe I should think about that. Oh my gosh. Please don't spam my chat with blesses and unblesses. Please don't do it. That is that is not what I want my chat spammed with. Go to tells if you're gonna do that. <laughs> Please. Please. Uh 105. Scrap. Is there anything from the store I'd want right now? Sell stuff. Um kill it beats, I guess. No, nobody won. Nobody won, children. All right, we can try to do the fr uh, stop the free borders again. The Zoltan Shield bypass by Miracle managed to get some of them through the Zoltan Shield. They must have a Zoltan Shield bypass. Okay. Uh, it's only a single human, at least. Uh, I'm going to hack your weapons. Small bomb this. Home bay. Beautiful. There we go. Now we're good. Uh, no fixing that. Let's go hang out in here. Oh, they walk like like friggin' Terminators. Are they protected from fire damage? I don't think they are actually. So, Rockman could kind of fight them in fires, couldn't they? They kind of could. Yeah. Whew, we're kind of got a little low. Okay, we're good though. We're good. Uh, we need this silly device to bless everyone in the name of a silly deviceness. He is. He is blessing us in his silly deviceness. Oh, you're talking about the whole bless you thing. Got you. What's up, Bilbo? Hope I'm well. I'm doing okay. I'm sneezing this morning. I don't know why. But I'm good. Over the weekend, I started packing up for my move. Decided for the new apartment, man. New apartment's gonna be awesome. I hope. Because I'm gonna be paying out the ears for it. But it better be awesome. 75% <laughs> damage, less than fire. Okay, okay. So they do take some reduced damage from fires. That's good. Good. Go here. My controller guy, that should pull them all in here. Beautiful. I don't have cloaking, but we do have long uh assault shields, so hopefully I'll have plenty of doges. Plenty of dojings. I'm gonna let that fire. Okay, good. Just enough dojings. Just enough. I should auto fire the charge laser at one and two shield ships to get some weapon training, although we do have level 1 now, so that's good. I always appreciate the opportunity to throw out old junk when you move. Yeah, that's actually one of the things I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with some stuff. Like, I have a whole bunch of console games and an old Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 that I don't know what to do with. I have not touched it since I've lived in my current apartment, which has been like, what, five years or something? So I'm like, I wonder if there's a way to like give away old games and systems because I'm sure I would get next to nothing from that old stuff from a GameStop so I don't know 
Maybe there's a place you can get a tax write-off for donating stuff like that. Ah, there's a halberd beam. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Mm. I think I want to get rid of the charge laser for this. Since pre-igniter is weak with that anyway. You are weak, pre-igniter. Weak! Be careful with halberd beam, though. Not kill my boarding crew. Um, all the good vibes on your new place. Christen it with Sonic. I I haven't actually checked if there's a Sonic near my new place yet. I haven't checked. Uh, I, when you live in Dallas or a lot of places in Texas, it's kind of like McDonald's. There's going to be one close, but maybe not quite as prolific as a McDonald's or a Starbucks. But there should be one close by. Uh, what would I want from a store right now, honestly? No, my my augments are full. I guess I could repair a little bit, but I think I just want to skip the store. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's skip the store. Get um, this weapon online. Uh, eBay is your friend if I'm looking for profit. I mean, I don't, I'm looking to buy a couple things. I, I don't know that I'm looking to profit from my old stuff. I'd rather somebody, I don't know, who would, who would buy old gaming systems on eBay? Are there people who do that? There probably are. No, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Because they're not, like, old enough to be vintage. They're just old enough to be old. I haven't checked if there's a Sonic. What if I starve? Because <laughs> I just assume there is. Sonic or In-N-Out? Well, I prefer Sonic to In-N-Out. But I go to Sonic for breakfast, not for burgers. Do I forget, like, Taco Cabana? Yeah, very rarely. Um... I haven't gone there in probably a couple months because I found a new place nearby called Taco Deli, which is much better tacos. It's more expensive, but they're much better tacos. I don't know if there's a place where I'm moving that's going to have better tacos. I messed up, didn't I? Okay, no, I can still go one, one, two, three, four. Okay, I can still do this. One, two... Three, four, I almost messed up. When do you become old enough to become vintage? That's a good question. When you die, I don't know. A lot of people will buy them, collectors and such. I don't know, really? An Xbox 360 and a PlayStation 3? It's only one generation back, right? Or is there a PS5 now? Is it PS4? It's PS5 now, isn't it? Two generations back? I don't know. It doesn't feel old enough to be a collector's item yet. But maybe that's because I'm old? I don't know. Oh man, am I gonna double kill there? <laughs> Get blasted. Go up to weapons, actually. I don't know why I did that right as the cloaking went off. That was dumb. Tacos make the world go round. That's right. Oh man, we lock them out of the heel bay in a fire. <laughs> That's the third free small bomb we've gotten. This small bomb run. You're in Connecticut, so in and out is the stuff of legends for you. It used to be like that way in Texas, but they moved to Dallas like 10 years ago, and it was the big new thing, In-N-Out Burger in Texas. And I mean, yeah, I've, I like In-N-Out Burger. I mean, I grew up in California, so it was nothing special for me. So it's like, it's fine. It's just another burger place. It's like, for me, Whataburger. People are like, oh, Whataburger in Texas. If you go to Texas, you got to get a Whataburger. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty good burger, but it's like, it's not like... Five times better than every other burger place. Another burger, it's good. You see a PlayStation 3 with 18 games on eBay for $71 right now. Not a lot, but it's not nothing. Yeah, but then I'd have to, like, actually figure out, like... I don't like doing the whole sell thing. Because you have to do all the extra work for it. You gotta... 
talk to the buyer. You gotta mail it out. You gotta, you gotta do all that work. You gotta do all that work to actually make that happen. Um, I'm actually very slightly dreading um, the fact that I'm trying to buy a washer and dryer and a sofa with a chaise long on like Facebook Marketplace because I will have to, you know, go and pick them up if I end up finding a cheap one somewhere. So I have to interact with people I don't know. And... Okay. Um, look into tech exchanges in my area. Now that sounds like something I'd be more interested in. A tech exchange. Dallas Tech Exchange. I've never heard of a tech exchange. I have no idea what that even means. Uh, put my Rockman on the com. Cave Dwelling Pebbleman! I paint my ship with your old companions. I paint my ship with you! Alright, you have a lot of small bombs too. This really is the small bomb run. Oh man, I can't board till my teleporter. Okay. okay, let's do this. Teleport here. Uh, there. No, he repaired it just in time. Are you freaking kidding me? Hopefully, it's level one. Good. We're fine. Too much damage there. He should just junk things, definitely junk things instead of moving them to your new apartment and collecting dust there. Well, yeah, I don't want I don't want to just throw them in the trash though. Cause like that's so wasteful, because you know, old electronics. Oh, I probably have a guy who's ready to turn into another whatchamacallit. Um I think I actually am gonna get rid of a rock dude. Okay, he has training Maloney doesn't have, we'll do that. So, our pilot, yes, specialize. Here we go, I keep forgetting to do this. Oh gosh. Uh, security, berserker, mechanic. Let's go with the mechanic. And you are there. Did he keep his, he didn't keep his piloting training, which is a little funky. Because it's destroying the human and creating a new one, I guess. Bigger, faster, stronger, whatever. What are these people paid you in Sonic and Cookies? Would the hassle be worth it then? I don't know. Uh, money can be exchanged for goods and services, including cookies and Sonic. <laughs> like, really what I'd like is if I could find a place where I could... Just go and either donate or like recycle electronics surely there's a, a electronics recycling places in dallas it probably is i just need to probably look it up and see where that or if i could like donate all my old systems to goodwill or some charity thing and get a tax write-off that somebody will get use out of it, because I'm not getting use out of it. That's the kind of thing I'd like to do. If that's a thing somewhere. Dev hacking, so I'm going to do six strongholds here. 28 fuel. Rebel stronghold. Um, can I get the next engine upgrade? No, since I just got something. Okay. Let's see what the level 5 engine thing does. Does it cost 3 fuel? Jetstream. The only jet, only jet class vessels pull off this jump most of the time. No way the Royal fleet could achieve something remotely resembling that. All right. He doesn't keep the skill. That's why security offers get to pick one skill so the player can keep at least one skill they'd want him to have the most. You can't actually start with level one at all skills. Gotcha. Well, I like the repairing bonus. So. Okay, uh, what do I want to upgrade? We are level, we are only sector six. We are really strong right now. I don't have long range scanners, so I'm gonna have a harder time finding under construction flagship. Let's do 
this. Very good. All right, no missiles for you. Look, like, looks like a giant flying potato. A potato? Uh, I don't know if I see potato in this ship, but okay. I mean, it's slightly orange. The shield, maybe. But the ship itself is like a... Like a three. It's a three. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, I don't, maybe I'm just not seeing it. Maybe it's only because there's also a planet behind it right now that makes it look more round. Maybe when I leave this planet particular background, it'll less look less potato-like. Maybe an orange? I can't guess so. Alright, uh, we do have a store coming up. I have stuff to sell. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I want... I don't think I might want the whole laser two for more shots instead of heavy laser with small bomb. You are because this is pretty good at crew kill. I kind of like small bomb for the boss fight for crew killing though. Like, does it still look like a potato here? Because to me, it doesn't really look like a potato. Damn it! I keep forgetting to move my guys here. I, why are you not say? I saved your positions, man. Okay, um... Okay, good. Just make sure he can't run. I was really worried he was about to start running. Okay, Jesus, small bomb. Give me a break, bro. And there we go. There's a fire for some reason. Is that a small bomb fire? Jesus. Frickin' small bomb just on its own took off half my systems. Small bomb OP, I guess. Alright, let's make sure I move my crew back to their positions this time. I don't know what's going on with that. Small bomb, best bomb, OP bomb, that's for sure. I was playing like no pause and very delayed right there because I didn't do my pre-ignited weapons. I didn't board. I needed to get hacking through. Uh, just too much crap. Overwhelmed there. I need to, need to improve my reaction times and stuff. Or no pause anyway. Let me get level two heal bay. Potential options. You know what? Level two sensors too. Go into all my scrap and then probably skip this one. How was my weekend? Uh, it was pretty good. Um, I started. I started packing for my move. Is what I did. I only got a couple boxes done, but at least I got started on it. Oh wait, I have a map now, right? Yes. So I know empty jumps. Alright, so we need to go looking for under construction flagship. Um, the competitive League of Legends scene started back up, so I'm excited about that. Started watching the Euro whoops, European LEC this week. The North American LCS starts back up, and I'm excited for that. So, you know. But I'll also be doing more packing this week to prepare. Stop the borders? No. Kill your friends. Okay, get healed. Berserkers might be not saving their positions because they can't man. I think I just messed it up. I just, I just was not saving it once they moved. I saved their positions in the heal bay once, I think is what it is. It's my own fault. It's not it's not it's not you or the game, it's me. Get the civilian ship. 
It's not you, it's me. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can not use it right here. Okay. Very good. Right, yes, next, um... A week from tomorrow is my move date. So, there's a small chance I won't... I definitely won't be streaming next Tuesday. There's a chance I won't stream next Monday as well, because I might need an extra day for packing. So, just a warning to you all. I might have to miss next week's viewer viewership day, sadly. It'll depend on how much packing I get this, done this week, honestly. Looks like the common chain stores of Dallas are called Game Exchange. Probably what I want for cash in hand. Game Exchange. Well, I mean, is that like just GameStop where you can trade in your own stuff? Game Exchange Dallas. All right. Wow, there's those are pretty far away, but maybe maybe I'll look into that. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for looking that up, I guess. <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, we're looking for the under construction flagship. I swear, my, my hard drive is failing on me for some reason. I replaced this hard drive, like, a couple months ago. I keep getting lag spikes and Windows screw-ups. My Windows is on the... Uh, Replacement hard drive that I got, I swear. Maybe the most recent Windows update is just trash. Maybe that's why I'm getting all these lag spikes and stuff. Okay. I probably shouldn't play like I'm playing no pause, but I just didn't have it. I am Sister Act 2, back in the habit. Defrag the hard drive? I mean, maybe, I don't know. I feel like modern hard drives like do that automatically now. Every time I try to defrag a hard drive, nice. It's like, it says it's already been done a week ago. So like, I, I'm pretty sure Windows does that automatically now around. Am I crazy in thinking that? I feel like that's true. Oh, how did that not go offline? Now he cannot damage us. We're gonna crew kill the under construction flagship just because we can. Beautiful. A repair burst. That's our free weapon. Wow, game. Literally the worst thing you could have given us. Thanks. All right, well, it did get the delay. The art van delay. Uh, it's two delays, so I can go down, through, and up, and around, maybe? Um, I don't have cloaking, so I'm going to want the fort shield. I want it yet. Let's get this. Let's get, like, all the value points. You begin turning off the power completely on your PC to save power from standby, which resulted in a few problems for you. Your PC often had some wild crashes. Oh, okay. Um, sorry about your PC. That sucks. <laughs> Guess I'm not the only person having weird random PC issues. Oh, these two borders are doing work, man. They are doing work. <laughs> I 
246 scrap. We'll go to the store, because why not? I don't think there's anything I could use from it unless... I guess I could get a flak over the heavy laser one or something. I could get a clone bay. Subscribing. And there's that thing for the tier Thanks 2 for 10 subscribing months of subbage. Channel. That is Na -na. super Whoa. above and beyond support. I really appreciate that. Do I do clone bay? Yeah, yeah, I think I do. It means they won't be at full health unless I refresh them. But if I get level 3 clone bay and use my control and hacking well, maybe I can keep them full health every jump. Or close enough that it doesn't matter. Okay, well I can one-shot this guy. Get blasted. Thanks for having no shields in Sector 7. You crazy, crazy, stupid guy. One, two, three, four. So we can actually do that. Crazy, crazy, auto scout. Shieldless auto scout. Um, sure. Guess so. You were tier one for a while. You recently upgraded it. Well, I really appreciate that. Thank you for not giving me a map at the end of Sector 7. Oh wait, we're, a, we're only Sector 6, never mind. We still have a full sector to go, huh? I should upgrade my engines again then. I'm gonna full upgrade my engines. We're gonna Reddit engines, literally just for the, see how many extra jumps we get for, the, for this. Reddit engines, everybody. Uh, that's a terrible deal. Yeah. Alright, so what are our options for level 8 engines here? We've done Hunter's Leap, Police Catch, and Jetstream, Madman's Past, Strobov's Skip, Your End. Mythic level 8, what is your end? Only an insane man would ever jump at such speed. Only someone inhuman would survive entering the path space. And you are that man. Fleet delayed by eight jumps for six fuel. Well, let's ex let's go on an exploration, my friends. Um, I think we can see every jump with eight extra jumps. Yeah, the mod gives perks to it. Really OP. Makes you want to just buy all the fuel. Where does the term Reddit engines come from? You see them Reddit, but why would folks on Reddit waste money on engines? Uh, I assume it's because... There's posts on the FTL Reddit making fun of people who do that. I don't, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Well, so far these Reddit engines have been worthless because I've gotten... One, two, three, four, five empty jumps so far. Thanks, FTL. Thanks for being a piece of crap. I don't need a store. So I actually can't, couldn't tell you the answer to that question. Okay, um... Okay, we do that. Can't mind control, we do this. Of course, we can't mind control them back either, because they're all slugs. Oh god, they have this repaired already. Pretty good. Jesus, stop repairing this. Okay, I think finally they will come into here, right? Good. Yeah. Um, Willow! Uh, I don't really want to get rid of anybody, so sorry, Willow, you're dismissed. Out to airlock you go. I should probably know where the term Reddit Engines comes from, but I don't actually know the story behind it. Somebody's got to look up the Know Your Meme for it, I guess. Alright, so the next plan is Force Shield, which we also need power for. So, let's get the power and value point to start, I guess. Where's that going to go? It's going to go like this. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Actually... 
bam, 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 and I gotta go back around though. Well, at least we, uh, actually, we don't have that much fuel. Going to every jump in this sector, even though we probably can, probably isn't feasible because of our fuel. And the fact that every goddamn jump is empty. What the hell, game? What the hell with all these empty jumps? Wow. This is like the worst slug sector I've ever had for actual scrap games. I think all but two jumps have been empty so far. Even the ones that have potential for stuff are giving me zero stuff. Come on, no more zero stuff, please. I would like to have actual stuff. That is not what I meant to do. Okay, let me just pause. Okay. Dodges are crazy good, but I have Reddit Engine, so I should also have crazy good dodges. Heal first, I can't heal. I don't have a heal bay. I would have to refresh, and I don't want to refresh my guys and have them lose their, lose their training. Sides. We have level 3 home bay. One jump of not boarding. I'll get 50. So they'll, they'll heal up quickly. Don't really feel the need, honestly. 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe? Emptiest sector in history of sectors. Yeah, well, at least in history of slug sectors. Oh, there's a non-empty one. Guess what I get instead of emptiness? Free hole damage. Thanks, FTL. Thanks. I can have empty jumps or hole damage. Those are my only choices, apparently. We're gonna look up our blue option sector 8 starting event. Cool. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, let's do this. Okay, clone bay down. Keep this from repairing. Hope there's not a fire. Okay. I can control this. We'll hopefully pull a guy from repairing that. Looks good. There's probably one or two crew left. Oh, okay. He finished repairing the shields. That's a fire. I hope not. Free flak. There we go. All right. That doesn't quite make up for all the emptiness, but it almost does. I think it's because every what do I buy post on the subreddit shows ships with low engines, so everyone recommends that upgrade and then brought to the extreme by maxing them. Uh, I don't know, maybe? So I probably want to sell... I could do a weapon upgrade, right? So I probably want to sell heavy laser and get the flak on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can easily get out of all of those. So let's go one, two, three. At least it was free and I didn't have to pay for the whole damage. It was free, at least. Well, if I don't ever have to worry about our chat running out of memes, that's for sure. Okay, well that was a lot of dodges. Start. Okay, at least we get this offline. I control you. Go in here and help the fight there. Beautiful. Oh, more stuff to sell at the store. Nice. The Rebel Fleet hasn't even caught up with us. I am speed. Yes. Well, I spent all my fuel for it. And it's not paid off with how many empty jumps we've had. Attempt to stop the borders with Zoltan's shield. They get cut in half by the force field. Nice. It worked. All right. Um. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten weapon power. If anybody needs proof of the cheatingness of FTL, this is a ten weapon power ship. Count it up. Look it up and count it up. Frickin' ten weapon power, my friends. Okay, I'm gonna teleport into there. They can't repair that. I'm going to work on doing some damage to this 
frickin' 10 weapon power. Okay, ridiculous amount of dodges, great. Then a secondary boarding party, potentially. Go here. Okay, I thought I did this correctly. I had been still selected from before. All right, even your cheating 10 weapon power cannot beat my OP-ness. All right, so we got a store. That'll give us 50 health. So I'm not going to refresh them. Between two jumps at 25 gains each. Okay, so... You want the small bomb or the heavy laser? I think I'd rather a small bomb for crew killage against the boss. I'm going to do that. I'm going to buy all the fuel. We're going to upgrade our weapons. And almost have enough for the uh, shield. I, I could do the shield, but I just want to make sure I have um, the power for it first. And I'm going to hope we get at least one repair station and not spend scrap on repairs here, I think. What I want to do. Yes. Also, the one challenge of the ship is I didn't get cloaking, so boss phase could be rough. Uh, phase two could be rough. I'm hoping with four shield, Zoltan shield, and redded engines, that'll be enough. I hope. This guy does not have crazy weapon power. I have crazy shield power. Because all slugs seem to have that. Okay, no doges. Do this. We do this. Do this. I can counter the mind control. I'm going to do. I just actually do it. Stop his. Oh gosh. Okay, that's fine. We have clone bay, so if anybody dies, we can refresh him. But try not to let anybody die. Good, didn't burn down quick enough. This guy has, uh, I guess that was a firebomb. Either a firebomb or we were unlucky with his small bomb starting another fire, which is certainly possible. Well, our max strained berserkers are doing work. Oh, he repaired this, I didn't realize. Okay, good, we're good. According to some research you've done on Reddit, the meme is that Reddit folks generally encourage noobs to put more in engines, so then some noobs go max engines and hence Reddit engines. Ah, okay. So that so what Bilbo said is correct. Okay. <laughs> Upgrade your engines. Okay, I've maxed my engines. Now I have no weapon power. I yeah, okay, noob. Good job, Reddit engines, noob. I could see that. I could see that for sure. That's funny. <laughs> Alright, now we know. If, if anybody should know about red engines, it should be us that play FTL multiple times a week. Okay, wow, it missed so bad it didn't even land on the screen. Thanks, FTL. No surrender. We're gonna teleport you guys onto heal base so we can't repair it. Small bomb cloaking, please. Good. Now oh, we're still maxed on our Zoltan shield, so we're good. Oh, I'm gonna need more crew to board, I think. Freaking slugs always have like 8,000 crew on their ship. That's right, I said at 8,000. Okay, why can't I click on this? 
Okay, apparently I was clicking my other crew to go in there. Alright, there's a four-person room going there. Holy crap, could we not go on the only guy that's about to die? Thank you. Oh. Oh. Wow, is he actually going to do damage to me here? Oh, thank god. We dodged the breach bomb. Breach missile, breach whatever. Oh, that was scary. I guess Glade Beam one shot his Holden Shield, so that's why the missile could have a chance to get through. Uh, you did the opposite when you first started playing. You never updated engines because you didn't understand what they did, not until you started watching me. Okay. By the way, if you ever get the urge to attend a convention, go to MAGFest, Music and Game Festival in Virginia. I would absolutely love it. Okay, that sounds cool. I... I think I've been to Virginia once in my life, so I don't know that I'll get the opportunity to ever do that, but I'll try to remember, Bilbo. Um, I actually use small bombs, so no, I shouldn't be giving away all my missiles. Magfest is in Maryland. Which is it? Is it good? Why not both? Blue Oval, yep, yep. I remember RPG. Okay. Okay, we're through. Let's go here. My control U. Get the heal bay down, hopefully. Okay. It sh should pull the end you before it repairs that, right? Yes, it's perfect. Very nice. By the way, Rand, you're visiting Texas next year. You think you'll still be a long way from me here in Austin? Uh, yeah, Austin's about, depending on how fast you drive, three hour drive from Dallas, I would say. It's like an hour and a half to Waco and then another hour and a half to Austin. So I hope you have a good time in Austin. Austin's a cool place. Speaking of music, Austin's known as, they have the Austin City Limits, I think it's called, the, the live, um, live music festival that they have every year that's super popular. A lot of famous bands got more famous there, I believe. And just a lot of really good musicians, popular musicians, as opposed to classical musicians. Are, uh, are there. Um, okay, Walker. I'm going to lose weapon training to have a... Maybe I should have gotten rid of this Mantis instead. But no, I want him as a secondary border. So yeah, I'm actually fine with that choice. Yeah. Oh, um... MSO Infinite is correct. It's actually in Maryland. You stay with your friends in Virginia, so you always think it's Virginia. Okay, so it's right by DC. Interesting. Found a post with Max Engines marked not safe for work. Engine upgrade porn. <laughs> not safe for work. Okay. Used to go every year. You stayed in Alexandria, Virginia before. Tried to get a hotel in Gaylord. Harder and harder every year. There's a, there's a Gaylord hotel and resort in Dallas. I wonder if it's the same... Uh, thing. All right, blue option. Um, Oceanic Insignia. Your crew reports that the spiral tentacle is glowing and relaying a set of coordinates into the nav navigation. Decide to follow those and order a jump to that set of coordinates. Your ship shakes. Your ship shakes. Shivers. Ship shakes and shivers. It suddenly enters a hyperspace. The insignia begins to emit some sort of droning, ominous sound combined with that of rushing water. Uh oh. Are we in, we're in the net, the, what did you call it? The depths or whatever? You're hurled into dark depths. Your hole immediately begins to groan and moan under immense pressure. You seem to have landed in some sort of an enormous ocean and the only plausible exit, a hole in the ceiling, is too small for your ship to pass through. Check the databanks. 
apparently have ended up in the Forgotten Expanse. Little is known about it except for how treacherous its depths are. Your computer informs you of two powerful energy signatures within the sector. Computer warns you of dropping oxygen levels. With the pressure of greatly increasing O2 usage, you have better you have better thought of sufficient upgrades for your O2 system. Tips. Boarding unknown underwater sea creatures is not a good idea without an upgraded teleporter. Being this far from any known territories, it's impossible for the rebel fleet to ever follow you. Expanse is this silent for a reason. Be aware of how much noise you generate. Okay. There's also a Gaylord in Nashville. Okay. Well, I have a slightly a funny story about that. My Christmas caroling group goes to the Gaylord every year to take pictures because it's always really well decorated for Christmas. This last year when we went, my card got declined because I think uh, there's like an expiration thing or something. So when I tried to use my credit card to pay for parking at the Gaylord, um, and I can't tell a story here. Okay, let me pause. When I went to pay for parking at the Gaylord, my card got declined. So I had to pay with a different card. When I got home to call the bank to tell them why it got declined, they're like, there's some charge at Gaylord? What is this? Like, I was like, no, it's nothing weird or funky. It's just the name of a hotel. It's just, it's just a hotel. It's just, 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 just a hotel, I promise. Uh, so is my O2 just constantly going down, or I need level 3 O2 to go against this, apparently. Okay, that's crazy. All right. True self-venting with level 102. Okay. Um, I have max power I can have right now. Um, yeah. Oh, there it is. It goes up now. No, if I open the... Who's sucking out O2? Is it a random breach happening in random rooms? With level 202, one crew member per room is going to be fine. Oh, it's the number of crew in the room that matters. Oh, that's weird. All right, we got some question mark stuff. Let's go visit the Forgotten Expanse. I know. Wow, Mr. Baker, I didn't call for your judgment. <laughs> all right, I have to start reading all this. Your jump brings you dangerously close to what is considered a crush depth for your ship. It would be a good idea to get out of here, but your scanners pick up an unknown signal nearby. Get close to the signal and pray. Free hull damage. Uh, take a look at the signal. There's a beacon. Turn it off and leave. Okay, great. Free hull damage. At least it was free. Basically, every crew is a bit of a lanius, is what this is. Okay. Well, I mean, it's like the whole Gaylord thing is like, uh, what's meet the parents? His name is Gaylord Falker. Or something like that. Like, wow, your parents really gave you no chance at all. Wow, look at that background. A uh, colony of green, beautiful lights. Many of them appear attracted and begin to attach themselves to the holier ship. The crew begins to argue about the course of action to undertake. Power engines and weapons to the maximum. Order crew to power down all systems and wait. Oh my god, I have no idea what I should be doing in all these events. Zero idea. Um, I'm going to be passive and hope I don't take free hole damage. Power down all systems and wait. Floats quietly, they attach themselves, something on fills you, a feeling of nostalgia. Gives more enchanting as the lights begin to flicker, flicker number, a minute later, they attach themselves to the float away. Some miracle ship's hull has experienced major repairs and fuel reserves have been replenished. Okay, cool. So they're nice lights. They're nice night lights. Just like I thought. What's up, Nietzsche? Silence is appreciated. Oh, yes, yeah, silence. Okay, that's that's our clue. Ship emerges nearby some massive ruins. It must be the remnants of a city. Once inhabited these depths, number of blue lights float around. Explore. Um, all this seems to have belonged to an advanced race. Deploy the crew in spacesuits. Uh, the spacesuits don't seem to experience that much pressure down there. Floors and ruins while your ship remains with all its systems online. Energy signal nearby. All right, begin to search. Uh, more time. Continued search. Underground hangar. No functional vessels, only parts of them. They find an advanced weapon. Appears to have been based on what cre creatures live in the expanse. Use. Okay. Screech amplifier. What is this weapon? 
Stream sound pulse from this weapon not only stuns crew, but the immense pressure it inflicts will continue to damage the ship struck over time. Cruiser's hull is rigid enough to resist the hull damage from pressure. Systems will still take serious beating. Two power, one shot, one hull damage, one system damage, 15 crew damage, one shield piercing. And it spawns a crew. I need to uh, watch the live performance. Okay, I have so many links that I gotta check out. But Live MAGFest. It's an hour-long video. You're going to have to tell me. is Well, that's long. I don't know that I'm going to watch that whole thing, but I'll pull it up for later. Um, do I care about this? It's a chance to spawn a crew. I should at least try it, I guess. I'll be pre-ignited. I guess I'll do this. This is freaky, this very silent sector we're going around in. Damage to spawn. Chance to spawn crew is the way it damages systems over time. Okay. Uh, explode the ruins. This is the same event. Oh. Wait, do I get another one? Okay. We have all these fleet delays. That's why I'm allowing the fleet pursuit to catch up. So dark and quiet. Uh, aims to ram the hell out of my ship. Okay. Okay, so it spawned. A... But I can't kill this crew. There's no crew to kill, so I don't think I want to board here. This is resisting hull damage. Okay. Oh, what did it just do? Uh, the artillery is ramming my ship. I think the artillery is it's is it ramming us? I think. Does this do double hole damage to empty rooms? No. Alright. Um, well, I'd like to use that against an actual enemy with crew, so... It can charge at you if you destroy its engines, it can no longer attack you. Okay. Uh, an underwater mountain full of holes. You don't get to take a closer look, though. A massive storm of sea phantoms emerges, forces you to run for your life. One of them manages to catch up. So, wow. This is scary. I don't know what this ship does at all. It doesn't seem like I can board these guys, can I? Nothing to attack. Okay. It has no shields. Its sh rooms are all sectioned off from each other. Oh. Oh, they're dying. Um, could use level two. Okay, we get them back in time though. I guess. Why were they dying? I guess I just shouldn't board. It seems like. This is so weird. This is so weird, man. Alright, every ship fight gives us a fleet delay pursuit increasing because we're making noise, I, I guess. Alright. Uh, hope for a little bit of a break. Nearby creature seems to have the same idea. So these are creatures we're fighting, I guess. I guess that's the whole idea behind this, is that we're fighting creatures, not... <laughs> what is that? Uh, so weird. Okay. A pressure point died, okay.
Um, killing O2 symptom. Other oh, ship reduce the damage over time your guys take. So killing their O2 makes me able to board them, huh? That's weird. Uh, they offer you some of their cargo to let them live. Who? Who is offering me? I don't see any crew on your ship. An oceanic brutonist or something. All right. Leeches are swiftly taken care of by the currency move into a scavenge. Okay. Well, I'm going to have a lot of scrap. Um, this is looking like we're going to get full build here. Oh, yeah. It's already done. I can do literally nothing to upgrade my ship. So let's just go to the two quests, I guess. There's nothing more I can do except find, I guess, other weapons. Uh, never see a friendly face around here. This place is far from something you want to explore. I've been alone here by the Death Princess. Tell you what. Strike a deal. I'm low on resources. Don't feel like going back in. If you give me some, I'm going to give you something special. Bioshell. Um, protects your system from damage. Performs liquefaction to extinguish internal fires. Uh, it seems capable of self-regeneration. Um, can I get this instead of the thing that I have? The bio, the oceanic insignia. Okay. Yeah, we'll replace that. Seems good. Maybe, maybe. Does that protect us from the whole O2 thing now? No, our O2 still goes down. What about level two? I think it helps with our O2 though. I think that maybe that's helping. Maybe I don't know. They're not actually supposed to allowed to be be allowed to surrender. <laughs> Sucks for them. I don't need the oceanic insignia anymore. Okay, good. Just that same event we had earlier. A depth strike. A depth strike. Okay. <laughs> they might control the pressure point. Whatever that does. They don't mind control that. He's mine. Uh oh, is that a missile? Okay, they put out the fires. Uh, so weird, man. Yeah, okay, so they, they do put out the fires. Alright, um... I'm gonna say screw the amplifier, let's go back to Halberd Beam. All right, let's see what this uh, special thing is here. Pressure point basically does damage over time before dying. Is what... A wreck of a Federation ship. Brief scan shows something tore a huge hole in its hull. A hole in its hull and went through the other side. Let's have a closer look. Most of what was on board is either taken by currents or destroyed, eaten by local fauna. You managed to locate two boxes. One is marked with a sign resembling weapon system. Another with a sign resembling drone control. You have to dream of only with one of them because the currents are growing much stronger. Weapon box aboard. Right aboard, quickly move the ship away from the wreck before the current sweep it away. Box takes a moment to open due to its lock. Weapon you've never seen before. Five ready to be fired missiles. Note that reads, only chance, stay clear of it. Kill the nest, run. Some sort of harpoon with aesthetic chambers. Falls for harpoon. This weapon has built was built with what resembles a pinnacle of Federation technology. It launches a sharp harpoon with hidden containers. Release molecular acid upon impact. Melts through a hole with ease. Perfect for resilient opponents. Better against systemless rooms. Ignores armor. Three power. Use a missile. One shot. Double damage with systemless rooms. Six hull damage. Three system damage. 90 crew damage. 10 shield piercing. So I feel like I'm going to have to use this weapon against whatever boss we fight. So go ahead and get that ready to go i'm just gonna assume that for the other powerful signal okay let's go check it out drone box will only be taken if you have an actual drone control i assume okay all right let's try this harpoon resisted okay not a great start okay Gosh. Jesus, okay. Why is it resisting? Maybe everything except the ship you're supposed to kill with it resists it. 
The fleet here is something different than the actual rebel fleet. Okay. I will try not to get caught. I need to not use up all my missiles with this harpoon, I guess. Okay, I double fire. What are all these shots coming in at us? Right, hack his damn weapons, man. Why is this, are those those must be drones? Those are drones, aren't they? The phosphor does pierce hull resist, but not system resist. Okay. So confused about what's happening right now. Uh, go repair, I guess. Um, I mean, sure. I just want the fight to end, honestly. I don't need to fight anything else. All right, one more jump before we do this thing here. Um... Unexpected sight greets you. Slug ship engaged in a fierce fight with the local fauna. Oceanic Brutonus, to be more precise. The former seemed to wield some sort of a special beam weapon. Blast the slugs. I'd rather fight slugs. I think. What the hell is that? Brutonus makes use of slugs' confusion. Rams are ship heavily damaging their shields. Nice. Shit. Oh man, that beam looks terrifying. Okay, let me go ahead and hack their piloting. Nice, got the micro offline immediately. I would like to board a second time. Uh, I'm gonna go for another shot, although I probably shouldn't. Doing it though. Doing it and doing it and doing it live. Somebody I can board in this crazy sector. Jane, get me off this crazy thing. Go. Those leeches that I saw are drones. Okay, okay. All right, let's do that. Some sort of scary fire beam or something. I have no idea. No way to actually tell. I should be do as the range damage. All right. All slugs dead, the ship falls down. Surprisingly, the Brutonist sizes you up briefly before retreating to a group of unidentified smaller organisms. He was presumably expecting, uh, protecting, leaving something behind. All right, we got two free weapons there. The Hellfire Beam. Modified by slugs, it focuses more of its power in much shorter swipe. The heat is such that it guarantees fires to be started, piercing a single shield, and deals direct damage to the systems and crew. Two power, 16 second charge time. Guaranteed fire chance pierces a shield. I don't need two of these. What's this shock sensor? We can both systems and crew. I have no idea what weapons I should be using right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we did get that fire beam. All right. I assume I just need to use this harpoon against this final boss. So let's. Extra sector is crazy, man. This is. Is this similar to the other mod we played where they were like deep in the depths? Is this is this that? But just updated? The computer immediately flares up with warnings as soon as you enter the beacon. A nearby ruin almost pulses with life. That's no ruin. That's a massive nest full of leeches that are starting to stir. If you do not destroy the nest quickly or leave, you'll soon be overwhelmed. Your computer detects a very thick, nigh impenetrable layer of armor protecting the nest. The signal within seems very similar to the other signals in the sector. Something tells you you could find a potential counter to the nest defense near the other beacon. Perhaps retreating for now would be a good idea. Yeah. So let us, it pierces all shields, so we just want him to not dodge. This guy can't dodge. So, at least I don't see piling our engines. Okay. Okay. I have no idea. He's got no offense. Maybe as you do damage, you will have offense. No, maybe it's impenetrable. No, we're doing damage to it. Impenetrable. Words are hard. Add offline. Kill your doors. 
Why did I hear the sound of a dying mantis? The Abyss Sector is in this mod too, which is why he told me to take Oceanic Dignia over Abyssal Lamp. This will keep regenerating more and more leeches as a power surge. It would eventually get terrifying. Oh! Oh, so it is spawning things. Okay. Okay, it is spawning those things. Do the this thing here. Alright. So this special harpoon. I need to be hitting empty rooms, actually, don't I? Yeah, it does 12 damage to empty rooms. I start I'm starting to see the spawning happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. 12 damage there. Oh, it's resisting everything else. Isn't it? <laughs> that sound of dying mantis. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, it's like 90% resist because I saw one. I saw one damage. One more shot. All right, we got the massive nest. <laughs> That's finally succumbs to your onslaught. The leeches disperse shortly, and you move into find a black box left by some sort of expedition. It turns out they have managed to find proper set of coordinates to leave the expanse. Now you can follow in their footsteps. GG. <laughs> <laughs> the Osiris, and we went through the the expanse. It's a ninety percent chance to resist. Okay. All right. No actual flagship fight, but that was the Osiris Gunner from RPG Nerdos. That was a crazy end of that run. Let's check the score. The whole extra sector. You have braved the Forgotten Expanse, or did you? <laughs> 68-41. Now that's a high score. That is my highest score on this uh, save file. It was also basically two extra sectors worth of scrap, I would say, because of all the, the delay you get for that. So, Berserker... Most beacons explored, most combat kills for Berserker, and highest ship score so far. What a crazy run. All right. Well, that was Osiris Gunner from RPG Nerdos. Thank you for that ship, uh, RPG. I'm, the extra sector things, I'm still not sure how much I enjoy them. Because it makes the run longer, and I have no idea what all the events do. But maybe if I do it more, I'll learn it better. So, really quickly, my friends, I'm Sam Stretch. Use restroom. Take my first break of the day. When we come back, we'll play one of Mr. Porku's ships. I think we have one more of this new Stealth Cruisers to play. So thank you all for hanging out. And thank you for all the ships. It's always a blast. Check these out. I'll be back in just a bit, my friends.